everybody, it's Rain, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the pros and cons of the Electric Eel Wheel Nano versus your standard drop spindle. This seems to be a hot question in the fiber community of um, people wondering if they should start out on a drop spindle or if they should just go ahead and jump right in with the electric eel wheel nano the eel wheel nano is one of the cheaper options on the market so a lot of people uh, are comparing the benefits and drawbacks uh, of them both so i figured i would do a video on it and let you all know the pros and cons so let's jump right in so the two drop spindles that I have are both top whirl, which just means that the round part that you hook your yarn into that keeps it balanced is at the top where the hook is instead of at the bottom. And uh, the smaller one is under an ounce, it's like 0.6 ounces I believe, and the larger one is around 1.5 to 1.6 ounces. There are a whole wide variety of different drop spindles, uh, Turkish drop spindles, uh, bottom whirl drop spindles, and a whole plethora of other drop spindles, but I'm just going to be talking about these two that I own in this video. I like to use the smaller uh, under an ounce drop spindle for very fine yarns like lace, uh, gossamer, and uh, fingering weight. And I like to use the bigger drop spindle that is over an ounce in weight for regular DK weight and sometimes heavy finger weight, worsted, art yarn type things. And they both work great for that purpose. And I just want to say, if you are looking for a more detailed explanation of my technique on using a drop spindle or the Eel Wheel Nano, I have full tutorials for beginners and I'll link it in the cards right here for both of those videos, the Drop Spindle and the Eel Wheel Nano, because this video is mainly going to focus on the pros and the cons of each and not necessarily the technique on how to use them. So go ahead and check those out if you'd like. Alright, so we're going to start with the pros of a Drop Spindle. Uh, number one, they are cheap. They're quite a bit cheaper than any electric wheel or uh, any spinning wheel on the market. Uh, they range in retail price around $10 to $12. Uh, of course, that's not counting like the really intricate handmade ones that you can find. Just for a generic drop spindle like I have in the video it was around $10 and or under for some of the lighter ones that are under an ounce. They're very forgiving. The control is completely in your hands. You can unspin it and redo it if you need to. You can spin the thick and thin type yarns on a drop spindle, and you can also spin very consistently. Um, you can go pretty thick up to bulky, or you can go very thin down to gossamer as long as you're using the drop spindle with appropriate weights, like the small one under an ounce and you know, the bigger one over an ounce. They are completely portable. You can throw this in your handbag along with a little uh, sandwich bag of fiber and you're good to go. You're ready to spin uh, and take it anywhere. As far as I know, uh, don't quote me on planes if you can take it on an airplane or not. I think you can, but I haven't tried it so I'm not sure. And I find that drop spindles are very therapeutic. There's something about uh, drop spindling that is a lot more therapeutic than a spinning wheel to me at least it's a different type of therapeutic but very therapeutic and absolutely calming so calming on the mind and now for some of the cons probably the main con is that it is way slower than using a regular wheel or the nano it does not hold much yarn on the actual spindle so if you do plan on making an entire skein you're probably going to have to do several joins to make an entire skein i if i had to guess i would say it holds around an ounce maybe less maybe more another con is uh it can be harder to keep consistent because 
um, you have all that control, but at the same time, all that control can cause you to be a little bit harder to, to keep it very consistent because you could spin it a little too fast or a little too slow each time. It can be rough on your hands if you have arthritis when you go to wind it on. And I have dyslexia, like a mild dyslexia, and the Z and S twist can get a little confusing for me. I know now that Z twist is clockwise and S twist is counterclockwise, but you do have to keep that in mind. And um, if it, if that clockwise and counterclockwise movement bothers you and it's hard to keep track of, you do have to keep track of it. You don't have like a switch you can press or anything that tells you what twist you are. You have to remember which one you use. And then when you go to plot, you have to plot in the opposite direction. Now, for the Electric Eel Wheel Nano, it retails at $110 on the Dreaming Robots website. We're going to start with the pros. It is also portable, but you do have to get a battery pack if you don't want to have an electric plug-in near you. It does have to use an electric plug-in, but uh, the electric battery pack is sold separately. It does have an S and Z twist setting, so you don't have to keep track of that. It's very convenient. It is way cheaper than other e-spinners. This is one of the biggest pros on this list. It retails for 110. Most other spinners that are electric can go anywhere from 400 all the way up to over $1,000. And in my opinion, the Eel Wheel Nano is the best wheel on the market you can get for fine yarns. And I'm talking fine yarns, like thread, uh, frog hair, gossamer. Have you ever heard of frog hair? Leave me a comment and let me know. And the bobbins also hold two ounces of fiber per bobbin. That can be a con, but we're comparing it to the spindle, so it is a pro on this list. And um, another one of the, the big pros of the Eel Wheel Nano is that it's way faster than using a drop spindle. And now for the cons of the Eel Wheel Nano. It does rely on electricity, as I mentioned before, so you do have to have an electric outlet near you. And I believe uh, Maurice, who makes the wheel, also sells a car jack that you can use for like a cigarette lighter in a car on his actual website. So you can get those if you opt for that instead of a battery pack, but it does rely on electricity. There is a big learning curve with this wheel. Um, I didn't have much of a problem with it. Uh, again, you can check out my tutorial. It's very simple and easy to follow. I didn't have much of a problem getting started, but it is quite the learning curve to get all the little uh, finicky bits of this wheel down pat. It cannot spin bulky yarn or art yarn. Maybe a very, very thin art yarn you might get away with, but you're probably still going to have to do a lot of winding on by hand if you do try to go that route. This wheel is best for fine yarns. like. DK weight and below that. I wouldn't go, you might can get a worsted, but I usually go DK and below on this wheel. So that is a con. It is more expensive than a drop spindle, another con. It is a lot more expensive than a drop spindle, but compared to the other wheels, it is a um, less expensive option. One of the, mo the least expensive on the market actually. And another con that I found with this wheel is you will outgrow it quickly if this is a hobby that you end up getting into. I ended up wanting a new e-spinner to be able to do art yarns and bulkier yarns on. Uh, probably about a year after I had it, I was ready for an upgrade. Maybe even sooner than that. I hope this information that I was able to give you in this video was helpful and that it will guide you in making a decision on perhaps your first drop spindle or your first eel nano. I'm sure no matter what you decide to get, you will be pleased with your decision and you will most definitely have fun. 
Spinning is very relaxing and I recommend at least everybody try it once or twice just to see what it's like to make yarn out of a sheep's wool. It's absolutely an amazing process. And I also hope you have a happy Tour de Fleece 2021 and happy spinning for those of you participating this year. And don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. I have so much more coming every week. And follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.